Hello! Welcome back to Dream Chronicles! This time, Dream Chronicles 3, The Chosen Child. I'm your host, RC511, and we're gonna get started right away in this great new adventure. I had the dream again. The one where I have a husband and daughter. But my daughter disappears. Taken by the fairy queen of dreams. When I wake, the dream fades. I should write it down before it's gone. Welcome! Look around the room, use your mouse to click on items to find about more on that. I you need to find my dream journal to write down my strange dream. My dream journal is not believed in cushion. This is my favorite seat in the house, perfect for reading and writing in my dream journal. Ah, that's your dream journal. What about the friend? Uh, bliss potion. I don't remember. I like to have a glass of water nearby when one of my strange dreams wakes me up in the night. Huh. Herbal rem remedy for insomnia. Keep jewelry and personal items here. Barge City. As a child, I still dream about it from time to time. Oh, Barge City. Where is this? Ooh. Dream journal found. You've, you'll, you've found the dream journal. In it, you'll keep records of your dreams and the dreamlike things that happen while you're awake. You can open your journal anytime by opening it. Click on it. Roll over the different areas above to see your journal entries. I had a dream again. The one where I'm searching for my husband after this fairy queen of dreams steals him from me. I journey through the fairy realm and finally rescue him. But then our beloved daughter goes missing, missing too. I'm grateful every time that it's only a strange dream. I'm not so sure about that, Brenna. Or should I say, Faye? Uh oh. Faye, is that you? I've been looking all over for you. I can't believe I finally found you. Whose house is that? Where are you? I try, I try to take the crystal ball, but I hear, hear a chilling voice and, Hey, what's happening? Where did this fire come from? I have to put it out before my treehouse burns down. Water! Inventory added. A jar of water is now in the inventory. I don't want to put water there, it would ruin the wood. I pour water into the fire, it helps, but I need more. There we go. Haha. <laughs> you might recognize that sound. I see our friend is up to her old tricks, but you can't let her something fight with. Who is this person, and why did he call me Faye when my name is Brenna? He speaks as he knows me, but the things he make, says makes no sense. This is all very strange. I heard a voice in the crystal ball appear. Then a stranger appeared in the crystal ball and spoke like he knew me. He but he called me Faye, which is obviously not my name. I reached for the crystal ball for a closer look, but before I could pick it up, a ring of fire happened, appeared as if to keep it from me. I need to find something to put the fire out. Have I left any water here? Yes, you have. The message from the crystal ball has been added to the dream journal. It will occur. This will automatically occur whenever something important is said or discovered in the game. Why are you hanging around that strange house? Lyra is still out there somewhere. Ooh, a dream jewel to unleash it, to unleash its power. Collect its missing missing dream pieces. They look like small, smart, sparkling gems. They can be found everywhere. This jewel reflects the respect and value that fairies hold for the life-giving powers of all trees. Yes, yeah, so it complete a dream. I don't need any more sewing to do now. I think I should leave the house. Oh, that's my great grandfather. How strange, I can't think of his name. That's my aunt Fionnu. Oh, they say she's crazy, but I just love her just but I love her just the same. Woman looks familiar, but I can't remember who she is. I love this picture. And it's gone. Oh no. I try to leave through the door in the floor, but I hear that chilling voice again, and the mat I used to cover the door and it disappears. Stranger still, the door has disappeared too. Looks like you have to find a uh, fond of more magic before you can leave. Find that missing mat. Ah, the door opens now I can enter my sewing room. My mat! How strange. I feel like I'm in one of my dreams. Technically, yeah. 
Oh no! I tried taking the map, but it tears into pieces and scatters around the house. And my precious sewing machine is bro broke apart too. It's like someone wants to make sure I can't repair the map. You have to find a way to restore the map and put it where the map come, it came from. Ah, yes. Key. What is that? A bottle of stain remover. Sewing machine oil. The string. What about back here? There's the big iron wheel. That's a key. Aha, yes. This is very reminiscent of the first game. The music is similar. Oh, I need a wheel there. Maybe here? Yes. More. Yes. So, I press on the foot pedal and they... Yes. Take care to sew all four pieces. It worked, but the mat is not complete. I still have to do another piece. This is a nice animation, I guess, for a 2009 game. It looks realistic as well, doesn't it? The map looks good as new. If my suspicion is correct, all you have to do now is put it back where it came from. Ta-da! I was trying to say that that was the music I used in my Minecraft Lost in the Garden playthrough. Yes. Cut is because it is from this. I found a note tra tag to the bottom of my tree that reads, Go through the gateway and make a potion at Herbless House to remember. I don't know what any of this means. This is all so confusing. Oh no! How did you open that nexus gate? I hope you know what you're doing, Faye. Da, da, da. Kablamo. This is really powerful magic, even for her. I hope she's not getting stronger somehow. Check up by that old stump. I saw something suspicious over there while the ground was shaking. I saw some colored stones by the tree stump. Yes. Looks like a classic fairy trick, but you've seen worse than this. I saw some stones nearby that may fit in these holes. Looks like you'll need eight stones. I guess there aren't any dream pieces here. This is all very straightforward. <laughs> Oh yeah, the dream germ. I finished the stone puzzle and a bridge appeared. I think I can get safely get to that gateway now. Let's see everything that happened. Brenna's bedroom, Brenna's house entrance. I still don't know who the stranger in the crystal ball is. It all feels like one of my dreams, but I know I'm awake. At least I think I am. I heard the strange voice I heard in the bedroom, and the mat covering the door in the floor vanished. The stranger in the crystal ball said I had to find the mat. He seems to want to help me. I should look at the crystal ball for help when I need it. I found my mat in the, on the chair in, in the sewing room. How strange. Who would do such a thing? This started to scare me. Could I still be dreaming? My beloved sewing machine broke into pieces and scattered all over the house. It's like someone doesn't want me to sew the mat back together. The sewing machine is missing two iron wheels and the strap that ties them together as a thread. The stranger in the crystal ball thinks I should sew the four pieces of the torn mat together and put the restored mat back where I found it. The stranger in the crystal ball says I should put the mat back where it was and leave to look for someone named Lyra. Who is Lyra? Outside. I made it out of my treehouse, even with someone using magic to keep me trapped inside. I feel compelled to keep going, but where? The stranger in the crystal ball continues to appear, and somehow I feel I can tr trust him. But it seems he's not the only one talking to me. I also found a note tacked to the bottom of my tree that reads, Go through the her gateway and make a potion at the herbless house to remember. I don't know what any of this means. This is also confusing. I need eight colored stones to complete a fairy puzzle. The tree stump has some kind of symbols in the middle. Maybe they are an indication where I put the stones where I find them. You should be able to cross safely now, Faye, but be careful. An old man lives in that house, but he keeps living so. Dreams and reality collide all around me. I don't know what to trust. 
I should go home and lock the door. But, the, but a fairy gateway tempts some deep part of me. I hold my breath and step into the void. Hello there. I, I travel to the gateway and end up in this strange mechanical room. When I arrive, I found another note on the device that reads, Pull the lever and, lock, and unlock the entrance to the herbalist's house. Use two completed dream jewels to unlock the notes. These notes, are they really meant for me? As strange as it seems, I feel like they are. You've completed a dream jewel. This dream jewel with three pumpkins is a symbol of guild of the guild of fairy herbalists. Okay, let's go. There's only one. I pulled the lever and the gateway shifted to reveal a tree of colored gems above a closed gateway. Then the cover on the device opened. It looks like I should put something in it. I know how this works. You. The note told me the device was powered by dream jewels. I should pr try putting the dream jewels I found in it. Yes. Ta da! As simple as that. Uh, what about? I don't want to move that gateway. I should go through it and see what's on the other side. I found a note that taught me how to use this machine. The power of the jewels revealed another gateway. I sense an important answer on the other side. Even if I can't face the question. You've just used the Nexus Gateway to travel to a new location. You can return to the Nexus and previous locations anytime by clicking on this or open other open gateways to the... There. The note you found said something about making a potion, right? Maybe this is the place. I don't know who that person is. Picking up a tree house? Maybe that's the person who lives here. I don't think you're ready to go back to the Nexus yet. You should live around here first. Okay. This looks like a, an herbless kitchen. Didn't the first note you found say to make a potion? Power is off. Maybe there's a way to turn it back on. That's the same switch noise like in the first, second game. Kaplam. Oh no. The door slammed closed behind me and was immediately covered in dirt. I can't even see the handle anymore. I need to clean it off if I want to get back inside. Let's just grab these. The water tank is empty. If I restore the windmill, I might be able to get some water in. Right. That's a bucket. I push the gate and it opens. Scarecrow has a lovely dress. Looks like something I might have seen. Take the shovel, heavy hammer, a blade, and there was a thing there. The door is locked from the inside. That's a dream piece, that's a dream piece, right? Yep. Geez, they are littered everywhere. Should be more careful. What is that? A key! No. That didn't work. Oopsie. Hold on. Alright. There's nothing to hit or smash with the hammer there. If I, I replace the windmill's blade, but it looks like they could fall off right back off. I need, I need something to hold the loose blades back in place. Ta-da! Ta-da! I don't know how that works, but okay. Water! That's a bucket of water. I got three more. Apparently. Fill the bucket with water. As soon as I clean the door, I heard the voice again and part of the pumpkin is What's all this? What am I supposed to do now? What? You need to find a piece of pumpkin. Oh, that. Pumpkin! You're dead. There's a hat, there's a stick, there's much pumpkin, everything. Got it? So uh, the pumpkin feet, uh, piece fits perfectly and the door opens. Yay! Pick up a match. 
crush things in there. Oh, it is! Hello. Can I close the door? It's, it's a bit distracting. The book opened as soon as I touched it. It looks like a book of recipes. To reveal the recipes, uh, the, these potion recipes to be scrambled appears to be. I wonder what they're protecting. Getting started setting up the kitchen. To reveal the recipes in the book, you must set, set up the kitchen first. Light a fire beneath the cauldron. Prepare liquid for floor essence by following the steps below. Liquid floral essence is a cream needed to make the recipes in the book. It is simple to make. Take some red rose petals and crush them in a mortar bowl in the counter. Then place the crushed seeds into the right tank at the side, at the back of the kitchen. Crush some sunflower petals and place them in the middle tank. Crush some lavender and place them in the tank on the left. Finally, add some water also in all the tanks. So, red rose, sunflower, lavender. Crush, crush, crush. Right. Middle, left, fill with water, and also light the folder. Ta da! I followed the set of instructions in the book. The kitchen is now in working condition. I should see if the book has more instructions now. Da -da 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 -da. Quick ripen potion. It's a growth potion, memory recovery potion. A memory recovery potion? This is what it's all about. You don't remember me? Let's see. Liquid. Follow this recipe exactly to make a potion that will ripen fruit immediately. Place some orange peel at the bottom of the glass. Pour in some sunflower liquid essence. Carefully add some rose liquid essence to the glass. Finally, add crushed lemongrass. Orange peel. Sunflower liquid essence uh, and rose liquid essence, I think. Sunflower, rose liquid essence, lemongrass. Rush it, push it, push it. Got a quick ripen potion. Instant growth potion. This gr potion will make any plant grow to the full size. Heat some sunflower petals in the cauldron and add them to the glass. Cr then crush and heat some juniper berries and add them to the potion. Pour in some lavender liquid essence to the po uh, Finally add a drop of rainwater. Sunflower petals, heat them in cauldron and then heat it. Take it out of this ladle. Put it inside. And then crush and heat some juniper berries. Are these the juniper berries? Yes. Crush. Heat. Ta-da! Pour in some lavender liquid essence. You need a drop of rainwater from the umbrella. I got stuck for a long time. This is a big. Uh, this is an easy place to get stuck. And now, memory recovery potion. Warning: This potion is extremely strong and should only be consumed in small doses. Place one freshly cut, cut grey rose in the glass. Grey rose seeds. I need to plant these. The shovel was used to dig a hole and return to where it was originally found. If you need to make another hole, you can just retake it from there. Fucking crow! Hey, that crow took my seed! You won't be so bold if I rebuild Scarecrow. Ah, oh, there's a new lever for me. Uh, lever now. If I pull it, maybe the treehouse will allow me to go back to the room. So back toward rest. Can I make a thing here? Red. No, I can't. Let's go back to Brenna's treehouse. Treehouse. Oh no! When I try to climb up the treehouse, I hear the voice again and let a ladder steps disappear. If I can speak properly, that'd be great, you know. I remember, if I remember there are 11, maybe 10. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's 11, I think. Three, two, 12. No. Oh, one more step missing. 
Stick. Oh, it's right over there. Uh, yes, we get it. We replace the steps. Yes. Let's re sew these scarecrow dress. Ta da! The scarecrow's dress has been is got as as good. Looks good as new. I should go back to the garden to put it back on. Yeah, I see. I need to pre ripen this. Make a thing. Thing. But uh, now what are those grey rose seeds? Just put it there. Ta da! A grey rose! Fresh thing. Uh, fresh grey rose. That's in. Crushed orange peel and some lavender liquid essence. Here. And then. Heated lemongrass. Heated lemon, crushed with aloe, crushed and heated juniper berries. Ta da! Boom! I made a memory recovery potion. I put the bubbling potion to my lips and drink. My reality peels away, revealing my lost memories. My husband and daughter emerge between uh, beneath the layers. My heart seizes with a shock of love then despair. I am not dreaming. I am Faye. I am your mother. I am your wife. Faye, do you remember me now? You do, don't you? That potion worked. Now I know nothing will stop you from finding Lyra. A drawer suddenly opened. Inside was another note that we read. Take the symbol and open a secret stairway near the Nexus device. When you've accessed the grounds below the Nexus, you will be on your way to reaching Lilith, Lilith and your daughter. Also inside the drawer is a cryptic symbol of some kind. I take it with hopes that it re will really will lead to Lilith, the fairy queen of dreams who stole my daughter. Travel to the magic gateway and arrive in this imposing room where I'm surrounded by more gateways. I want to know where they all lead, but they are closed. They must be a way there must be a way to open one. The stranger in the crystal ball said there are dream pieces around here. This must be the secret of Nexus gateways. I used dream jewels to open another gateway. Oh, into the strangest house. The note said I should make an potion to remember something here. It's comforting to see the gateway is still open in case I need to get back. It must have rained here recently because there's a wet umbrella by the door. There are several bowls with raw ingredients above the chimney. This must be where I'm supposed to make the potion. Where do I begin? This old windmill looks like, uh, looks to be what supplies power to the power house. Fortunately, it's missing several blades. Perhaps if I restored the mill will work and extract water from the ground. The missing windmill blades must be found around here somewhere. This must be where the herbalist grows herbs for his potions. The scarecrow seems to do, be doing a good job of keeping cr the crows away. I need a ripened piece of pumpkin for the door. The uh, scarecrow's heads. A head looks to be right, but about the right size and color. I tried planting a grey rose seed, but the crow snatched it away. That scarecrow I destroyed before was definitely not just for decoration. Now that you have more dream jewels, we'll try to open another game. What do you mean more dream jewels? We've only got the one. Wow. Outside the Nexus room, I come from a big stone device and find a note next to it that says This ancient device can be used to forge your own dream jewels that you'll need to reopen the next gate which, where Lilith is hiding. Light the fire and then try to find some gold that can be melted into molds that create new dream jewels. I remember from this, this game that the amount of golden nuggets it's excessive. Oh, no. All the planets. That voice again. The door sla slammed close. The, the door slammed close. 
and those plant symbols start to move. I think I can open the door by moving those plants around. They're everywhere, these three pieces. Yes! There we go. Here we go. I aligned the plants at the top and now the door is unlocked. It's hard to see in the dark, but that appears to be a very large scare. Some kind of key. It's like some part of the mechanism. It's too dark to move. I should open a window to let more light in. I guess here. There. There. Ta da! Whoa! whoa. That's a lot of stuff. What are you doing? What are you doing in my swamp? More fairy destructions. The ladder steps have gone missing and the planet models that were neatly lined up, the, up on the shelves have been scattered. What an absolute arse. Small key. Look at the amount of golden nuggets here. Planet. Am I offending some people? <laughs> Who is this? This must be the astronomer who uses this telescope. Yes. A book that reads magic and planets. A viewfinder. Let's look at this. Uh, thing. There are th only three steps between you and the heavens. Arrange the eight planets on, on their proper shelves. Place the viewfinder on the telescope. Turn day into night and find what you seek in the sky. When you have completed these steps, the stars will show you the way. What is this? Mercury? No, oh, that's Venus. Earth? What's that anyway? That's I don't know. That may not be even the eight planets we know. Looks like a stellar map. That's, that's also... These are just Earth models, aren't they? Whoa, where did you come from? Mm, that's a death and earth model. Nothing here, not here. I don't know what these are. They're just earth models, aren't they? Ta da! Should be kind of able to find the ladder now. Ta da! There should be enough information for how to use the telescope. Da -da -da. Turning day into night. Telescope, stars, and magic. Forging dream jewels. Dream nexus and gateways. Ta -da. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. <laughs> it's not that hard. <laughs> you should put a lens in the telescope. I don't know what stars looking for. Back. What about? Wait, I want to see. Telescopes are starting. Dream. Star. Stars. Telescope. This telescope can be used to search for stars and convert them into dream jewel balls. To make new molds, Make sure it's night time. Load a lens into the telescope. Look through the viewfinder. Search the night sky until you find a constellation that matches the shape into the, in the lens. When you find one, you'll receive a dream jewel mold ready for use in the forging device. Each lens you'll find will help you create a new mold for use in this way. The forging device is used to create new dream jewels. To use the device, place four... Whoa. Logs in the fireplace. Light the fire using concentrated sun rays. Place a dream mold created with the telescope on the bottom of the device. Place a gold nugget above the fire. Then simply pick up the new dream jewel from the bottom of the device. Dream, dream nexus and gateways. The nexus has many secrets. Uh, many hidden secrets. Use it wisely and it can take you wherever you need to go. Gate. Way. What the hell is this? Hold the switches to access each gateway. Find or create as many dream jewels as you can. You'll need to solve the color combinations shown above each gateway. 
move the dream jewels until the colors they form match those above the gateway. And once again, raise unlocked, it will remain unopened. This is this is the frustrating thing. Fine, there we go. Thank you. A mold is magically formed by the stars. Ta-da! Ta-da! Yes. Another one. And I think that's it. When I open the door, the daylight comes back. One, two, three, four. Capital Use the magnify signifying glass to get the spark going. Fire starts up. Place a mold. Melt some gold. But you've completed the dream jewel. This jewel celebrates the ingenious mechanical inventions of the fairies, like the magic telescope. What about this one? You've completed a dream jewel. This jewel has a mesmerizing image of a sunflower. That's a sunflower? Which fairies believe brings good fortune. Oh wait, no, that that was the one that I needed to go. Yes. Red? Maybe this one? Ta-da! Yes. A fairy retreat. Don't know what that is. What is this? You need a da a bear bear. Let's just go back to the retreat first.